Here we have the DSU power pack connected in a test rig. Uh, the decoder you can see in the foreground, the little round thing is in fact the power pack. And uh, the motor there is uh, obviously lightly loaded and uh, just a flag indicating it rotating. And the little white uh, box is the speaker. Um, and as we can see, uh, the system is, is up and running and we're just going to demonstrate a power cut by removing this lead from the track. And as you can see, the lead time, the amount of power storage in the, the um, power pack is actually quite significant under this zero load situation. In this particular demonstration, we've substituted the uh, homegrown variety of Keep Alive, as documented in the ESU documentation, and we'll just demonstrate what happens here. Obviously, a little bit of power storage in this particular system but it does not have the same capacity as the power pack itself. The power pack now installed is a DCC Concepts power pack. It's the um, version that they currently market um, that uh, is as large a capacity as they, as they supply. Uh, they are apparently looking forward to um, uh, marketing a, a higher capacity unit later in the year. So it would seem from that power cut demonstration uh, to provide similar performance to the home grown. And keep alive. Uh, unit that's now connected to the system is a TCS KA1 and let's do a power test. As you can see it seems to have quite a significant capacity. And again, not too dissimilar it would seem from uh, the performance provided by the ESU power pack. Back on the test bed again, and this time using a smaller Mashima motor that uh, would typically be used in a double O scale locomotive and uh, just running a series of tests to see how uh, it impacts uh, the uh, stay alive uh, capabilities. So let's test it with taking the power off. And there's around about three seconds worth of uh, uh, power left in the capacitor for driving the motor uh, in this environment. And here again uh, is the homegrown Keep Alive uh, system as documented by ESU and with the smaller double O gauge motor. Power off test. And there is just a fraction of movement uh, after the power is disconnected. So not much storage of capability in this system. This uh, particular segment we're looking at a swap out again of the uh, Keep Alive uh, modules. This time substituted in is that the Zen uh, Keep Alive or Stay Alive from DCC Concepts. Let's have a look and see what happens when we cut off the power.
and again we can see that uh, there's very little storage of power uh, in this uh, unit that's able to keep the, the motor going, just a fraction. Now under test is the TCS KA1 uh, Keep Alive unit and we'll see what happens when we turn the power off with this. And as you can see there's again about three seconds worth of power being stored in this particular unit and again very similar performance to the ESU power pack. Hello everybody, uh, this video continues the uh, saga of uh, investigating the um, Keep Alive products um, and in front of us here we have the Bulldog um, with the body stripped off and currently with the um, homegrown version of the Keep Alive as uh, described in the ESU documentation. Um, and uh, this has been running like this for quite some time and I'm just about to show what happens when power is disconnected from the track. And as you can see, um, the homegrown Keep Alive does very little indeed in terms of keeping the motor going. In fact, one could say virtually nothing. Now in this clip, uh, we've simply substituted the KA1 from TCS uh, as the uh, Stay Alive, the Keep Alive uh, unit. And this too has now been running on the Bulldog for some little time. Let's see what happens when we disconnect the power. A few moments of uh, continuation. So uh, definitely an improvement over the homegrown version. Now, in this next clip, a uh, uh, stay alive, a keep alive um, module has been uh, swapped out and the DCC Concepts module uh, plugged in. And again, this has been running for some little while, charging up. And here's the result if we turn off the power. In this last clip, um, the uh, Keep Alive um, unit has been swapped out again and this time now connected is the ESU power pack and uh, let's have a look and see what happens when we disconnect its power. There is uh, a significant improvement in the amount of time that the motor actually keeps turning. Um, probably quite sufficient for running over any uh, dirty track uh, situations. Here we have the city of Truro um, running uh, with just the Dakota. There is no keep alive capability here in this locomotive at the moment. And we'll just do a power off test and instantaneous stop. Now the ESU power pack's been fitted to the city of Truro and uh, let's see how this Batman locomotive goes when we take off the power. A few seconds worth of stored power. the city uh, coming through on a piece of track that will be used for testing when we do a power cut on the actual track itself. Well, here's a side view of uh, the loco coming across the bridge. The last pickup point is in the last uh, wheel set of the tender and uh, the distance that it's traveled from the beginning of the bridge to the stopping point is around about uh, 50 centimetres. Now a rake of four four-wheel 
ratio uh, coaches has been added to the locomotive to provide extra load and uh, we'll see what happens on the next turn around with the power so with the ESU power pack fitted the engine keeps running for a reasonable distance uh, it's about three, 350 mils um, not too bad considering the four coaches which are reasonably heavy it should be uh, noted that the uh, keep alive uh, in this case the ESU power pack has been set to its maximum uh, storage time um, which is uh, roughly three to four seconds this particular test the keep alive has been replaced with the ka1 oh and we can see that it's a much much shorter life here's a repeat of the test with the ka1 we'll see what happens mm, consistently shorter so the tapes that you can see hanging off the bridge are the mark where the ESU power pack managed to take the loco to. Here we have the Panier tank set up with the homegrown Keep Alive and as you can see the locomotive stopped at that baseboard joint and uh, indicating that uh, there's very little power to keep the motor running. The panny has now been fitted with the um, KA1 Keep Alive from TCS. And let's see what happens here. It keeps moving beyond the break in the power um, and uh, quite a satisfactory distance. And the Panier still has the KA1 on board, but this time a couple of coaches have been added to uh, simulate a bit of load on the locomotive. And we'll see how far this goes this time. A little bit different. Here we have the Panier Tank 1823 running light engine, uh, this O gauge. Uh, locomotive has been fitted with the ESU um, Keep Alive unit and as it progresses down to the brake in the track we'll watch and see how far it can get. Quite a decent distance, uh, slightly exceeding the, the KA1 uh, the measurement from the centre of the rear wheel to the brake in the track is 21 centimetres. Here's the pannier once more, now loaded with a couple of coaches, and uh, these are quite heavy. Um, and we'll see how it goes with the power pack this time. does certainly have an impact. It's um, reduced the distance travelled uh, quite significantly so that now we, are, we find that we've been able to move about 14 centimetres beyond the power brake.